Hello, happy Monday to you. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well. Thank you to all our new subscribers. Subscribing really helps me connect with your energy. And I love to see the channel grow. We have some beautiful, beautiful souls here. We're going to begin today with a Taurus read. Taurus. Taurus. A lot of energy movement here. If your connection is yeah, someone's connection is getting much stronger. Some of the connections are changing. It's like a square dance almost. Okay, that's what I see. I see like a square dance. Don't know anything about square dances, but that what that's what I see. Um, and some of you go back to your partner, and some of you find a new partner to dance with, but your connection is still in the room. I hope that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. Special shout out to Francie too. Francie. Taurus, what do you have going? No longer than the Nine of Swords. The truth. The universe is going to help with this truth. Four of Pentacles in reverse. I, I have you all over my, close to my heart, on my mind. I'm not. I'm not displaying this. I'm not demonstrating it. The wounded warrior pose. So for the for those of you in the square dance and you let go of the hand of your connection and yet the connection is still there. I I don't know. Was that do si do? I don't <laughs> I don't know what that is. I see people in a square dance and holding grabbing hands and moving around and yet your partner, your connection is still there. It's just you're with a your the energy is love and it's increasing seeing life not just in a different perspective but in a new perspective all the things that you've been through is helping with this of course temperance excellent so temperance is what makes us strong going through all of these experiences on this earth plane makes us strong it's a, it's an earth soul journey so nine, nine of Wands to the Six of Wands. This is great communication. This is community recognition of success. It, it's, it's that great connection. I love it. To the Seven of Cups in reverse, though. I'm not looking for any uh, another shoe to drop. I'm not looking for anything negative because I have my Two of Cups. At the bottom of the deck, we have Nine of Pentacles. Love her, love her, love her. She is... The card of increase. We see an increase of energy, motion, movement. Um, I see someone beginning. Have you ever uh, water skied? I love it. I can only slalom, which is one ski. I can't do two skis. I fall and I eat water. But at the beginning, when the boat begins to take off, you don't go slowly. You go vroom. And it's... It's it can be a little nerve wracking when you when you first do it a few hundred times, but it's this motion the the increase that you're feeling. It's beautiful. The, the power of increase pre empress. We're going to ask for clarification. Any of my spirit guides want to step forward. Okay, I'm supposed to reiterate something. Never be afraid of, if I say the word change, don't think that you have to 
change your mind, change your mindset, change your connection. I'm talking about the change. Every time our heart takes another beat, our bodies change, our souls connect in different ways to other souls. If you're not changing, you might, you should check a pulse maybe. Make sure you're still here with us. Change is good. Change is going to do you good. Clarification, please. So no longer in this... You might have had... Someone here has had a dream last night. It wasn't, I would say, a pleasant dream. But it was um, a re um, reclamation of dignity. It was like someone saying, no, no, boundaries, boundaries. You cannot step over this boundary. This is my... Sacred space, yeah, the emperor, that great Aries energy. This is part of the energy I feel. Backbone, a backbone, um, not a doormat. And I don't think I'm being rude. It's not that. It's um, Taurus. Sometimes we, uh, you could condition yourself to, to answer the phone before it rings. Okay. Um, you're not going to get credit for your abilities because you do it so flawlessly and you might tap into your energy reserves. So be that Aries energy is beautiful, extremely loyal. Yes. A very fixed stare, a very fixed gaze on what they are looking and wanting to connect to. Beautiful. However, the emperor knows where his empire is, where it starts and stops. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. How wonderful. Ten, nine of Pentacles to Ten of Pentacles. All of the stability and sustainability that Optorians crave. That's what we're talking about. Right next to the emperor. I love it. And the Queen of Swords. Wonderful. So the Queen of Swords, she does not suffer fools gladly. I, again, I'm not trying to be um, rude. It's just that she won't deal with anyone who doesn't deal with the whole truth. Everything. I, I need to know everything of this of this situation so I can make a, a clear decision. See, with she beckons with one hand, and the other hand she has a great big sword. She might give someone a bop on the head if she feels like they are not being entirely honest. And entirely means the totality of it all. Ace of Swords, like almost like a, a reiteration, a confirmation of how important truth is in this connection. Absolutely. Airy, um, Aquarius, star energy, hopes, wishes, and dreams still here, still in the room. Someone does have regret. Um, this, is, this has been a common theme in the Taurus Reads for for several months now. In this connection, someone had the ability to connect. They had several routes, at least three routes, and they kicked them over because they weren't mentally, emotionally prepared. Yeah. And again, three of pentacles. I really believe that there is a lot of teamwork. Um, I, I'd get... I get this feeling that there is like a motherly or an uncle right next to her. Um, on the other side, our big brother who is, um, they're watching every tear that that um, falls down your cheek and they're, they like brush it away. Put they, I see this all, they take your hair and they put it behind your ear and they then they pat your face very lovingly. But um, it's important for them for you to know that they see this and they send you so much um, attention and uh, love. Someone has you all over their essence. You're on their mind. You're next. They keep you next to your heart. You're all all around them. You help ground them. They're for even standing on the pentacles. Listen, but they aren't demonstrating it. They're keeping these feelings to themselves. Everything that they have been through, their, their heart aches from before, has in a way prevented them from coming forward. But they are intent on, on going and taking all of these experiences 
in the boat with them and going from the choppy into the smooth. But if you see the figure who is riding in the boat, they're exhausted, they're a bit worried because they really want to come towards their wish fulfillment, which is you. They're very worried, concerned that um, they have kept you waiting too long and that someone else has swept you off your feet because they know you are all that and a bag of chips, Taurus. They are coming towards you, that Knight of Cups. But you see the Knight of Cups is not even in a full gallop. They are sauntering. They are just, you know, one leg up. They are very intent not to spill one drop from that loving cup, though. The Nine of, of Wands energy, the Knight of Wands, it's the Wounded Warrior pose. Everything that you've been through has, has just increased your strength. Um, some of your energy might feel like it's zapped, zapped, zapped. It's a, because you've lived through this type of experience in other lifetimes. And it's almost like, I remember what this feels like. I remember what I, what this feels like. And it's almost like you travel back. You might be having small um, episodes of deja vu. Deja vu. Um, it's like, I feel like I've been here before. Or you might have small episodes where you feel like you're almost in a dreamlike state. Like you're sleepwalking. Because your, your soul is reminded. I, I feel like I've been here before. And this is why we need the King of Swords <laughs> near his queen. Yeah. Because some of these ethereal feelings that you'll you'll get once in a while might make you feel like you're disassociating. Where it, it I want you to know that there's logic behind it. You're you're here in the 3D, you're you're on this earth plane with blood and mud and tears. However, um, because you're so energy, you're you're advanced in your energy and enlightenment. The King of Swords, it's it's necessary so that you could have a linear line of logic so that things make sense while you're here. Otherwise, you might feel like you need to go to the ha-ha house. Feel a little cray-cray. Yeah. Mm. Isn't that the truth? Yeah, Five of Pentacles, but in reverse. So it's the feeling of in it, but not of it. It's almost sometimes like you're looking at your life as if you're looking at a play. And, and you see people come and go on the stage and you're like, I, I, I've been here before. I remember this. Yeah. But Taurus, if, if this is a play, you are the star and, and everyone has come here to see you. Yeah. No, no longer in the shoulda, woulda, couldas. No longer in this, this, um, self-imposed prison. You see, she's not really even... She could loosen those spines and, and release that um, blindfold. But um, in in the reverse, it's like, no, I, I'm setting myself free from the self-imposed prison because I did nothing untoward. Um, Taurus, um, it's important for you to know that you are a very noble entity and that being fair and equitable is important to you. You might feel lonely once in a while because there are very few people around you who have that same energy level. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Okay, getting a little personal. I'll, I'll move on. The hanged man. Um, you, you already know, so... The hanged man, not just seeing from a different perspective, which is the classical idea, the hanged man is there. Again, they could loosen their binds and release themselves, but they are almost like a self-imposed um, experience to be made stronger so they could see something else in, in, in life. But it's not just a different perspective. It's a different way of looking at life. Not just from... Um, you know, I'm, I'm a wounded warrior and, and I'm, no, it's your survivor. You have survivor rights. Ace of Wands, beautiful. The, the universe giving you a thumbs up. And the Ace of Wands, think of that as inspiration to continue. Yeah, there, there are times where you're just like, no, I'm, I, want to, I don't want to be in the square dance. I want to sit here and to make sense of this connection. 
even if we're in a, a square dance and we're, we're 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 in the same room, we're doing the same um, activity. And I, I'm interested in grabbing their hand and um, finding out more about my wish fulfillment. And the world is turning in your favor, Taurus. We see this, the fixed signs, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo. I know not everyone um, enjoys these terms, but forgive me then. Um, there's, there's not just a soulmate. It, it is so deep, this connection is like a twin flame. And um, like a, f sorry, candle in the wind, the flame sometimes has a difficult time remaining um, still where you could, in, you know, benefit from the stillness of the candle and see more because of the illumination. But when the, ca the candle's in the wind and the, the flame um, moves about very quickly, it's very difficult to discern what's going on around you. That's the feeling I have right here. It's the new world is turning. It's like a page uh, ending in, in a chapter. Not only is the chapter done, the book is done. A new book is going to be opened. So those of you who are still connected to your original um, person, And this is extraordinary. It's it's as if there's a, a quickening, uh, uh, even um, more another layer to this connection. And contrary wise, those of you who are um, have learned every lesson you could from your connection, there is someone new coming forward. So for some of you, it's a new chapter, new volume with the same connection. Cool. And for others of you, it's a new connection to a different entity. So it's for you to understand that. I'm just reading the, the energy in this. Beautiful. I will say also, I appreciate so much about your stability, Taurus. You do not just run from person to person to person. That's not in your, your makeup. You... You would rather sit on, on this chair near the ocean and um, suffer the indignities of low and high tide and wait for your person to ex explain to you where they're coming from and what they expect from you. So there's a lot of, here we go again, wounded warrior, nine of wands energy. You're not just running from here to there because of a battle. You're going to stand there and suffer the indignities of um, being wounded. Temperance. The importance of the temperance card cannot be um, diminished. Temperance is what makes us strong so that you can uh, stand up and, or at least stand still and go through these experiences so that you can take them with you as learning life lessons. Uh, someone is keeping tabs on you. It's not in a creepy way at all. It's just, where's my person? Um, and there are times where um, someone in this connection just needs to see your face. I would love to see the Hierophant card because there's a beautiful face there. Someone just needs to see your eyes and it, 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 it um, sustains them. Oh, and then the Page of Wands. As they're um, checking you out, but in a very respectful way because there's that deep love connection. It's just once in a while they have to look, they have to see you. They have to see your face, your eyes especially. They would love to say something like a song lyric. It's a little bit sassy, but also very sweet. Um, I'm thinking of a, I, I, I hear like a boy band, but I know nothing about them. I'll try my best to, to reconnect with this. Um, going into Four of Swords, Taurus, you are so smart for this because it is at these times when you feel your person or you feel another um, entity in this connection, um, 
I don't want to say transgressing on your boundaries, but just kind of um, without speaking to you, connecting with you, you at times will reclaim your energy. There has been so many times, especially last year, where you, you spent so much time, energy, um, finances in this connection that it, it, it drained you. And going into Four of Swords is just brilliant. Make no, you guys are a super couple. This is community recognition of success. I love this card. It's it's like everyone going yes. And here the tower, we do need the tower. Um, it, it comes all the way back to up here, where it's just like a rec a recognition of no, um, that which didn't serve this connection well has to fall away whether that be insecurities um cultural norms that are um not really they're just um set up as parameters to make someone else feel small um all these things are falling away and it's at it, it, it sometimes it makes someone stressed out in this connection because they're not used to feeling free um Thinking back and longing for the freedoms of my chain and lying in your loving arms again. So a lot of this tower that's in reverse now had to do with you liberating your own mind, realizing how strong you are. I love a good tower event. This, this one has already occurred. It's just a confirmation, a recognition of old things falling away. Yeah, from the Six of Wands to the Three of Wands, this is the card of anticipation. I'm looking forward to this. And motion, energy. Again, the Chariot, Cancerian energy. There is energy in motion. Blessed be, this is wonderful. Seven of Cups. Uh, you know, this is. these are like, um, Rude and weird jack in the box. Do, 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 do. And then it opens up and something terrible comes flying out. Nope, no longer. Not even playing with that jack in the box. Nope. Um, with this positive energy, this is the old uh, personality. This is the new personality. This is uh, the personality before the tower event where there were uh, feelings of low self esteem, feelings of insecurity, um, not measuring up. Sometimes that wand is used as a measuring stick. Here is the new wand holding on to the new improved me. I love it. And then to the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Hearts. So we have the Ten of Cups here and the Ten of Pentacles here. I love it when it's in the same reading. Because your home is not only financially sustainable and safe, secure, it also has all the love your home has all the love it needs to endure and to to be just a loving home. Yeah, seven of, of swords. Um, this is like a, someone who thinks they're getting away with something. These swords don't belong to anyone. They're just sitting there and the person is like, well, let me let me do something a little um, sneaky ish and see if anyone's looking at me. See, their head is so intent on seeing if someone's watching them. It's in reverse. So someone might have acted a little, I, again, I'm, I'm not being mean or rude, but just a little immature, um, doing something just to get your attention. Um, does it work? Yeah, they get your attention, but it's not in a positive manner. They, they're just desperate to make sure you're not with someone else and that you're, they are still on your radar. Two of Cups. Beautiful. This is this is as close as you get. Eight of Wands, communication. This is what we need to. With that honesty, honesty. Tell me the whole story. And let me deal with the facts. Two of Cups to the. There we go. The Fool. Two Five of Swords. Back to Seven of Swords. Five of Swords. Someone really feels like they want to give you an apology. And ex. I need to explain. I need to explain what it is that happened and where where my mind was. Two of Cups to the Fool. I love it. Nine of Cups, Page of Wands, Two of Cups, the Fool. 
And informing this whole read is the energy of the Nine of Pentacles. The card of increase, the card of increase, especially increase of movement, of energy. At the bottom of the deck, we have the gorgeous King of Cups. He's the Romeo of the Tarot deck. This was the original bottom of the deck. I always like to take a sneak peek what's happening. Eight, eight of Cups walking away from something that didn't work out. Not necessarily a connection, but here with the Tower card, walking away from things that did not serve this connection well. There's not anything in this reading that I don't love. It's just a beautiful continuation of the, the readings we've had for Taurus in the last oh, seven days now. Taurus, I love you guys. I'm going to check back with you a little bit later. And um, please have a good day. Okay? Love you bunches like bananas.